Today we are going to talk about precision recall F1 score accuracy in the multitask context. Now let's understand what is uh, precision and recall first. So precision and recall, we always have a positive and negative class. So we are only concerned on the positive class. For precision, we are concerned on the positive class that is being predicted. So among all the predicted positive class, what are the ones that is really positive? So 7 plus 0 is all the predicted class, 7 is the one that is really positive, and this is the precision. Recall we are looking at true positive. So among all the true positive, what, uh, what are the one that is being classified correctly? So in this case, we, are, we have 7 plus 0 over, over 7 here. And this 7003 are the total number of guesses we have made, because you can see this is under the prediction. So if we, if we are good enough, then we can get both precision and recall to be 1 in, in, in this case. Now, in a normal case, uh, we don't have this kind of uh, results. Normally, this uh, precision and recall are trading off each other. So in, in this particular case, the predicted uh, 5 over 5 plus 1. Now for this, uh, recall is 5 over 5 plus 2. So for multi-class case, uh, it's a bit different here. So, but we still have this uh, positive and negative class. So for example, if you want to analyze cat, then the cat will be the positive and all the other fish and hen will be the negative. So in this case, um, the, the precision will be 4 over 4 plus 6 plus 3, which is 30.8%. And for the recall, it will be 4 over 4 plus 1 plus 1 will be 66.7 percent and this is the same for the fish and for the hand for precision and recall now you can see that we can do a class level precision and recall but for accuracy it is a different concept which is always global so accuracy is what is correct 4 plus 2 plus 6 over all the things you have guessed so this will be the numerator, 4 plus 2 plus 6 over all the other, uh, no, all the other, all the numbers. It's 4 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 6 as a denominator. So for precision and recall, since we are doing it at a, at a class level, so there are three ways to aggregate it to a global level. But before that, we uh, discuss a concept called the F1 score. Now F1 score is a harmonic mean uh, for this uh, precision and recall. The formula is as such precision uh, 2 times precision times recall uh, and then over this uh, precision plus recall. Now if we calculate the F1 score for the cat, fish and hen based on the precision and recall, this will be the this will be the percentage. Now let me let us see how can we aggregate the precision recall F1 to a global level. So for the macro aggregation, you will be simply doing a uh, a summation over all the classes. For example, like if you want to do a macro precision, we will be sum summing these three numbers and divide by three. And this is the same for the recall and F1 as well. So macro uh, aggregation, this is, so what, what we've done in macro aggregation is that we treat all the classes to be the same. So we divide by three, they are no different. For the weighted, we are weighted against the number of the the element in cat, fish, and hen separately. So for example, uh, in our case, we have total of 4 plus 1 plus 1, 6 cat, and 10 fish, and 9 hen. And, it's, and therefore, we are weighted accordingly. So we use this, for example, like for the weighted uh, precision, we are using 6 over 25. 25 is a numerator. And for the fish, we are using 10 over 25. And for hen, we are using 9 over 25. So we weighted it according to their uh, individual quantity. Now let us talk about the micro uh, aggregation. For the micro aggregation of precision, if you look at this example, we are considering all the things that is being uh, predicted correctly. So 4 plus 2 plus 6 will be the thing that is being correct. Uh, predicted correctly and over all the elements that is being predicted. So for this micro level precision, and uh, there will be 4 plus 2 plus 6 over all the numbers summed together, 4 plus 6 plus 3, uh, etc. 
But the recall, we are also looking at the same figure, which is the things that is being classified as the correctly for the true cases, for the actual cases, which is 4 plus 2 plus 6 as well, and also all the prediction that is being done. And you can easily see that this is equal to the accuracy, which is 4 plus 2 plus 6 over all the numbers. In the micro level uh, precision and micro level uh, recall, they are all equal together with accuracy. And you can see that it is also equal to the micro F1. Why? Because when precision equal to recall using the formula we have before, F1 score will be equal to recall and equal to precision. So therefore we have the, so in our case, the F1 score, which is the micro F1 score will be the same as micro recall and micro precision. And micro F1 score is calculated after we have the micro precision and micro, micro recall because they are at, uh, they are just calculated at a global level, although it is called micro. Now let's look at, since we understand this uh, micro F1, micro precision and micro recall is equal to accuracy. Okay, we understand all the aggregation method, method for the precision and recall. Now look at, let's look at some naive case where precision is always one. So in what cases it will always one if you predict all the cases to be negative because precision only focus on positive case. If you don't have positive case, then trivially it, it is always one because there is no positive. So if you, what is the cases where recall is one? If you guess everything positively. So if you guess everything positive, then by nature we will be able to capture for example this positive case will be able to if you guess everything positive then we can be sure that all the number is here and then if you if we it, this will be zero so if you add up together then it will be re resulting in a one as well and just now we are talking about the the trivial case for prediction of uh, i mean the, the precision for one so in, in that case, if you guess everything to be to be negative, then uh, there's no nothing to be the positive. Then this is all zero. Then um, then it is trivially uh, to be one for the precision. Now let's look at the accuracy. Accuracy look at both positive and negative. So if you want to score high in accuracy then you need to guess correctly for the five and two for positive and negative case uh, case among all the the thing you, you guess so this one and two need to be zero and this five and two must be correct to score a full mark which is one in accuracy so this is about the accuracy part and you, so it focuses on both positive and negative case and precision and recall they both focus on positive for precision it focus on the prediction what is predicted to be positive and recall what it is focused on what is really positive and based on that definition then you can easily uh, use that to make a one for each of the cases now the, it is, there is a very interesting graph here where it is highlighting what is a uh, precision and recall so for precision you need to be very careful for example if the redfish is the positive case you need to be very careful to classify something as positive you as a fishing bait you need, you need to be uh, very carefully for the red fish to be to be chosen for the recall you just need to capture as much fish as possible to be classified as positive because based on the definition if you classify everything as positive then you have a very high recall rate so these two mechanisms are trade off each other because you can see that precision if you classify everything negative it will be one for recall if you classify everything positive it will, it, it will be one so you need something in between um, this precision and recall you need to trading off each other because uh, they are not so if you want to get high in precision sometimes you will get low in recall and this is the same case for if you want to get high in recall, you'll be get uh, low in precision as well. So there are some cases uh, precision is more important. For example, like antivirus, spam control, and recommendation. In such a case, uh, you if you detect uh, wrongly, it's okay, but it's not okay. But if you miss the detection, it's okay. For the antivirus, spam control, and recommendation, uh, for antivirus and spam control, if you detect wrongly, it is not okay because this is not a good user experience and many of the good software will be classified as the 
uh, as a virus or many of the good email be classified as spam but if you miss the detection then it's okay uh, in the category of these two because uh, you can you can you can uh, guarantee all the virus will be captured or all the spam will be captured because uh, just to trade off for the user experience and for the recommendation if you detect uh, if you recommend something wrong it is not okay but if you don't recommend uh, the things that should be recommended is is okay because if you recommend something wrong then user will not likely to click on those items then you will lose the sales all right take talk, let's talk about things that we have a uh, record that is more important so for example like cancer detection and COVID-19 detection those uh, disease if you detect wrongly it's okay but if you miss the detection there will be a serious consequences now for people who is churn, um, this depends. If you are not getting good in precision, then you will waste money for those people that is not going to churn. But if you, your recall is not good, then you are not sending the money to those people who is going to churn, then you will lose those people. So this is about the precision and recall. And that's it for the lesson for today. And thank you so much.